Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly market report for March 2022. I'm Lindsay Imami, a realtor with Shepherd Homes Group, part of the Samson Properties Brokerage. And I'm thrilled to be here today to talk about one of the most important topics in the housing market. And we are going to go over home prices and answer the question, are home prices accelerating? Now I mentioned a moment ago that it's March of 2022. And it's truly hard to believe that it was two years ago to the day that a worldwide pandemic really came upon us and swept through our entire nation and fundamentally changed a lot of what we're what we do. Uh, and housing certainly was not immune to that, as you know. And a lot of things have changed in the housing market over the past years. And I think one of the biggest things is the change in home price appreciation. So I'm going to change the slide, and that's what we're going to be talking about today: the home prices. In 2022, CoreLogic said, sorry, in 2020, CoreLogic said that we had a 6% home price appreciation throughout the year. And that's pretty significant. If you think about prior to the pandemic, a more normal year of home price appreciation was about 3.8%. So 6% is very significant. And you know, we all see that continue to unfold in 2021 as we saw home price appreciation that was more than double that. So really significant home price appreciation over the past two years, and that is largely due to the supply and demand. More buyers in the market than we've had homes available, and we've all seen that. So I want to walk through what this means going forward as we look at home price forecasts as well. And I think one of the best places to start is a deep dive into home appreciation over just the past year. So if you look at this graph here, it's showing you the price appreciation is accelerating and it's starting from January 2021 and going from month to month through up until January of 2022. So as you can see, they are definitely still accelerating and we can look at this graph and see percent year over year price increases by month going all the way back to 2021. So on the left side, January of 2021, um, it, we saw a 10% home price appreciation. So year over year from January of 2020 to January of 2021, home prices increased by 10%. And then as you can see month over month, it really started to accelerate through over the year. Now, when we hit the summer, you see July, August, September, and so forth, it's about to level out about 18% very significant home price appreciation. But that's when we started having the conversation and we started hearing experts saying, our home price is going to de decelerate, meaning continue to increase, but just at a slower pace. And the reality of it is, we saw that kind of 18% hold steady for a while. And then into December and January of 2022, which we can see at the latest data that we have, that green bar is showing that home prices are starting to tick back up. They're up at 19.1% now. And that's again, a direct result of high buyer demand and low supply. So buyers are really competing for homes and that's causing prices to tick up. Now, if we look at this, at a state-by-state -state basis, this is a really interesting map. It shows changes in prices in the last year from FHFA. And this is really interesting because that we can see it shows that the national average is 17.5% home appreciation over the past year. Now, some states were higher and some were lower. Virginia is at about 13.4%, you can see there. And you can see that across the board. But the reality of it is we haven't have any depreciation in any state. So all of the states are appreciating in their home value and home prices were rising throughout the country. Again, a direct result of that supply and demand. So where can we break this down even further? And it's really interesting, I'm gonna switch the slide here. If we look over the prices in change in over the past five years, National average over the last five years was 54.5% home price appreciation. So its inventory is low and buyer demand is high. And this is what we are starting to see year after year is increasing home price appreciation. And that really exploded in 2021. But if you look back at the last five years, home price appreciation has been incredibly significant. So it wasn't just due to the pandemic. We've been seeing an increase in home prices over the past five years. Now where it gets even more interesting 
if we look at home prices over the past 30 years, so changes in prices since 1991, if you go all the way back 30 years, national average is 258% home price appreciation. That is massive. So this becomes a really important conversation. So people are asking now constantly, is this a good time to buy? Should I buy a home? Am I buying at the top of the market? Is my home investment going to be a valuable one? Am I going to lose money? And if we can go back 30 years and look over time, I would ask the question, if you could go back 30 years and purchase a home, would you do it? And I think looking at this data, the answer is perfectly clear. You absolutely would. So home prices have definitely appreciated in value and been historically a very strong investment. And, you know, the question becomes, are people trying to decide, but what's the next move going forward? What's going to happen throughout the rest of the year? We have to look at home price forecasts for 2022. And that's what this graph is showing here, because it averages out what the experts are saying. We follow seven key entities who forecast out home prices throughout the rest of the year. And when you average those together in the green bar, you can see they're projecting roughly 6.1% appreciation through the rest of the year. So CoreLogic is on the high end uh, with the 9.6%. Zellman's on the low end right now with 3%. But the reality of it all is, is that all the experts are saying that home values are projected to continue increasing throughout the year. Even if you're going a low end 3% or high end 9%, everybody's saying that they're going to appreciate. And again, that is a direct result of that supply and demand issue that we're having. And the reality of it is we are likely going to see these forecasted in an upward direction going forward, especially as we continue to have low inventory on the market. There's a lot of nods towards more sellers coming to the market this spring, which is very promising. And there's also more new construction being built. And that could all ease some of this home price appreciation as more inventory is available. Um, so I'm going to stop here for a moment and change my screen because I know this is talking about the national average and you guys are probably all wondering about what Northern Virginia is like. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a second and switch the screen so we can take a look at Northern Virginia. Here we go. Okay. So as you can see, this is uh, the industry watch. It's at quarter four. So this is October through um, December of 2021. And this is for Fairfax County. And what it's showing us is the median sales price for all of Fairfax County was around $600,000, which was up 3.4% over one year. The average sales price was $714,100, which was up 7.2% over the past year. And then this is the key. Here, the percentage of original price received, 99.3% of the homeowners got the original price received. Um, and then here, the huge piece is the homes for sale. So if you look at the graph, the homes for sale for quarter four in 2019 was 1,958. In quarter four for 2020, it was 1,783. And then quarter four for 2021 was 668. So it's down 62.5%. And that's why we're seeing such huge home price appreciation because there are just not enough homes for sale as there are buyers. The average uh, marketing period is 30 days, um, which is up 30% over the past year. Um, so if we wanna take a look at Alexandria City, the median sales price is $580,000. The average sales price is $654,909, which is actually down 9.8%. Um, but again, the homes for sale right now in quarter four, there's only 158 homes for sale, which is down 54.3%. Okay, in quarter four in 2020, there was 346 homes for sale. So again, that's really impacting the prices. You look at Arlington County, 
We have the median sales price is 695,000, which is up 6.9% over the past year. Average sales price is $805,000, um, up 8.2%. But again, the months, the homes for sale is 282 homes for sale in quarter four, which is down 52% from the previous quarter. Prince William County median sales was 460,000, up 10%, average sales price 499,000, up 9%, but the homes for sale 207, down 54.8%. So quarter four in 2020, there was 458 homes, and then quarter for 2021, quarter four, 207. So less than 54.8% homes for sale. In the last county, Loudoun County here, 610% homes for sale, um, and then, sorry, 610 percent, $610,000 is the median sales price, and then the average sales price is $682,000, uh, and the homes for sale, 206, down 57.8%. So again, very significant. There's just not enough homes for sale in the area. Uh, for the amount of buyers that there are. So if you're interested in just seeing how much equity you have, you don't even have to be interested in selling or anything. But a lot of people have been asking us um, who have sold within the last three to five years, just wanted to see how much equity they have. Um, so if you're interested in a free home valuation and just curious about the equity you have in your home, please feel free at, uh, to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you with all of that. Um, so that's my monthly market update for now, but I will see you again in April. Thanks for tuning in.